Here are 25 new Minecraft seeds that will inspire you to build in 2023. Seed 25 allows you to build in a flower forest hidden away from the rest of the world. Who wouldn't want a build location with a secret entrance? Follow the river around this hill until you find the gap in the steep meadow wall. Head on through to find the enclosed flower forest with a peaceful little lake. Building and living here would be such a relaxing experience and the cavern gives you an opportunity to build a unique entrance at your base. Seed 24 has a multi-forest island surrounded by a river. The river flowing around the island is almost a perfect circle. Build your base right in the middle of the island with bridges allowing you to cross the circle, or maybe a custom village all the way around the outer ring with a town hall in the center island. Seed 23 is the one for you if you've ever dreamt of building a custom volcano in Minecraft. This mountain is the perfect size and shape for it. Whether you're on the Badland side or on the Stony Peak side, this mountain towers over the surrounding warm biomes. With a crater at the top, all you need to do is fill it with lava and dig some trenches and you'll have the perfect volcano. Seed 22 spawns you right on top of some jaw-dropping cliff face caves. Being completely exposed to the harsh ocean winds allows for a wide open entrance to your new base. This spacious hollow mountain is full of aquifers, lushness, and even a route down into the deep dark. It's gonna take a lot of work to bring this untouched cavern to life. If you prefer something simpler, check out the next seed. Seed 21 spawns you right next to one of the most perfect biome squares I've ever seen. We've seen plenty of rivers forming circles, but have you ever seen a desert forming a square? Build yourself a small desert town with four fortress walls protecting it, or maybe challenge yourself to to survive here without ever leaving the square. C20 begins your adventure right next to two incredible build locations, providing a spawn full of inspiration. Up first is a double lake crater surrounded by walls comprising of savanna, forest, and badlands. The symmetrical nature of the two lakes is something rare to find in Minecraft's randomly generated universe. Head on over to the badlands walls to find a wooden plateau surrounded by stunning river valleys. Whatever you decide to build in each location, you'll have the luxury of being able to connect them both when you're done. Seed 19 has a coastal bamboo jungle where ocean streams flow down into an exposed lush cave. Follow the water down into the depths of this lively cave where you'll find two sparkling geodes right next to each other on the lush floor. Maybe you could move into one of these geodes and then build more to fill this cave with a glistening geode city. Seed 18 is home to the perfect place for building on Valentine's Day. Believe it or not, you can find two love heart shaped mushroom islands right next to each other. Perfect in both shape and color, it's definitely worth the travel to get here. Seed 17 features another double lake location, this time in a long meadow valley. Extending over 500 blocks from one end to the other, it's gonna take a lot of building to fill this location. There's plenty more inspiration beyond the meadow walls too, with eye-pleasing plains and forests of all kinds. Seed 16 treats you to the simplicity of a shadow plains valley. It's a calming and peaceful beginning with a gentle stream that flows through the middle of the valley. Build along the riverbanks and view your builds from the surrounding meadow hills. Sailing down the river in one direction will lead you to a flat plains island on a lake where you could build your home. Sail in the opposite direction to find a village to trade with and gather materials for your builds. Seed 15 spawns you right on the edge of a snowy mountain sinkhole. It's like a chunk of the mountain has been ripped out especially for you and all of your ideas. I'd love to see loads of cliff face houses with bridges crossing the water to connect them. There's a small cave from where you can begin development of your sinkhole village and an abundance of forest for you to gather resources. If a cliff face base excites you, then you might like the next seed even better. Seed 14 spawns you just around the corner from this epic lush mountain cave. Once again, exposed to the open ocean, you'll be lost for words when you experience this one for yourself. There's two Two lush levels for you to plan out your base and even a convenient entrance for you to drop into. Once you've finished settling in, sit back and enjoy the sunsets or jump down to your basement where you'll find a deep dark mineshaft. Seed 13 has an uncommon biome combination of windswept bamboo and mangrove swamp. This landscape alone might be enough to spark some of your imaginations, but there's one spot in particular that I want to show you. Head through the windswept jungle hills into a uniquely formed bamboo cave. It's full of water 
features, gaping entrances, and even a secret passageway hidden behind a waterfall. Seed 12 has a sunflower island surrounded by a river and a semicircular shaped flower forest hill. This yellow specked plane is just calling out to be your new home. After you spot this location after walking in through the village, you'll have no other choice but to set up camp here. Separated from the surrounding landscape by the river and outer walls, it feels like a plot of land that has been set aside just for you. Seed 11 spawns you high up on a chilling, snowy mountain. As you quickly scurry down the nearest slope in search of warmth, you'll be greeted by an incredible view of the valley below. It's here where you'll be looking to build your future home. It's a location that feels too beautiful to disturb, but I'm sure one of you can think of a build that'll fit perfectly into the surroundings. Being towered over by snowy peaks in all directions, you'll have to develop a tunnel system to explore the outer landscape. It'll be worth the digging because the mountain valleys scattered across this spawn are out of this world. Seed 10 brings us to a winding bamboo valley with some of the most imposing dark oak cliffs you'll ever see. As you move up the river towards the mountains, there's a gently inclining jungle path that would be perfect for a riverside colony. Make your own base here between the waterfalls and maybe even a windmill at the very top. Seed 9 spawns you not too far away from a quaint little meadow village. It's a shame it's been abandoned. Opposite the village is another river island, except this time it's in the middle of an ice spikes gateway. The spikes have separated to invite you into a winter wonderland. It would be a convenient spot to build a large gate between your meadow kingdom and your snow kingdom. Seed 8 spawns you on an island with a layout that I'm sure will have your mind racing with build ideas. You get two islands for the price of one, with the central island being surrounded by a circular river. There's a hill perfectly positioned in the middle of the islands with a shallow pool at the bottom of the slope. Build all the way around the islands and then admire your creativity from your main elevated build on the hill. Seed 7 is where you can find a rarely occurring secret underground plane. If you're in the mood for a hidden cave base, I'd highly recommend one with a grassy floor. It's a feature hardly ever seen, but one you really need to experience yourself. It gives you a friendly and familiar feel when you're down exploring the unknown. If you're on Bedrock Edition, there's Woodland Mansion directly above and half lush dripstone mineshaft below. Seed 6 brings us to another fiery landscape where lava and water flow down by lush jungle cliffs. The cliffs are scattered in exposed caves, which leads you into a huge lush cave system that leads all the way up to the giant Badlands Mountain above. You could start with a base on the cliffs overlooking the ocean with an underground lush path that leads you to a build at the very peak of the mountain. Seed 5 spawns you in a large enclosed flower forest surrounded by snowy peaks. The majority of the life here has been drawn into this lake, which is being fed by the streams flowing down the slopes. If you're after another peaceful building experience, it'd be hard to beat a cottage with a mountain lake view. There's actually an interesting village here too if you decide to adventure beyond the peaks. Now imagine this location but times a thousand. That's what you'll get with the next seed. Seed 4 spawns you in another lake-filled mountain dome, but I think this one beats all the rest. When first loading up a new Minecraft world, one of the first tasks is often to find a nice spot to build. No need with this one. I think we'd all be content staying right here. You've got a perfectly central lake, forested slopes, peaks piercing the clouds, and even a large exposed cave for you to explore right at your feet. Seed 3 is Minecraft's answer to a tabletop mountain. It's usually pretty tricky to build on top of mountains with their uneven surface, but this one gives you your best opportunity to try it. This max height mountain is so tall and so wide, resulting in a good amount of flat area for you to build on. When you're looking down from your build, the surrounding mountains will seem tiny in comparison. Seed 2 is one of the most eye-pleasing spawns I've ever found. Standing in this meadow, the views of the forest and the frozen peaks in the background are just breathtaking. Progress through the forest and find even more amazing places to build up in the mountains, or turn around in the opposite direction to find a lake where five rivers meet. Seed 1 is home to the largest lake-filled meadow crater ever found. This natural wonder has formed thanks to two giant lakes merging together. Whether you decide to build around the lake or up on the meadow walls, you can be sure that you're inhabiting a location like no other. Seeing a lake this big would be impressive anywhere in the world, but being protected by this beautiful meadow just takes it to that next level. Let me know which location was your favorite and what you would build there. It might provide some much needed inspiration for others in the comments. If you'd like to continue your seed search, click on the next video for even more places to build.